channel learn at cloud analytics so in this video we are going to talk about one of the most uh, frequently used real-time scenario so in my previous video we have looked at uh, what is meant by an M language and what is the need to go with an M language right so in this video we are going to talk about when this M language is important for us to consider and in which situation would that be helpful to us so without any delay, let's get into the demo part. So as you see here, I have connected to a data set called Superstore data set. And within my Superstore data set, I have pulled in my orders table. Now, as you see in my Power Query editor, the data is having some, uh, so there are some unwanted records that have been introduced. So now let's try to do some sort of a cleanup and then we will look at the actual scenario that we would be focusing on so the scenario that we would be talking about is example so so let's say that there could be certain scenarios where we might need to remove unwanted records or unwanted rows from the given data set so in this particular example since my data is this particular uh, superstore table uh, assuming that i would like to remove a custom rows from this particular table. Now, in order to remove the rows, we already have that possibility using this uh, Power Query Editor UI itself, where we can just go to this home ribbon and within this home ribbon, you see this remove rows. So if I select this remove rows, we have a couple of options that have been pre-defined or pre-provided by Power BI itself. So let's go one by one and then we'll uh, understand We'll try to see why do we need to go with the M language instead of making use of this default UI options. So as you see within my remove rows section, we have been provided with different options. So you have, you can select to uh, remove the top rows. So if you select this from the top, we can specify how many rows do we need to remove it from the given data set. Okay, so for example, if I have to remove the top three rows, I can just specify the number as three and that would remove the first three rows. Okay, similarly, we have the other options like remove bottom rows. So where it would, uh, based on the number that we provide, like how many rows should that uh, be removed from the data set, uh, that would be uh, applied from the bottom level. That's from the last records or the last row of that particular table. And then we also have another option called remove alternate rows. So that can also be possibly uh, transformed on this particular table. And similarly, we have other sort of a transactions or transformations that can be applied, like remove the duplicates from the table or remove the blank rows or remove the errors. Now in our requirement, our scenario is that I would like to remove a custom rows that I would like to remove. So for example, if I wanted to remove, let's say that uh, row number 14, 15, and 16, right? So how do I specify Power Query Editor or how do I mention this to Power Query Editor that I would like to remove a specific number of rows from the given table? So out of the uh, pre-provided options, right? I do not speak uh, or I do not find such kind of a flexibility where I can specify from which row to which row I would like to remove it, right? And that's where the importance of M language comes into a vital role. So M language is uh, quite helpful for this uh, transformations part within the Power Query Editor where it is a programming language that would help us to fulfill such advanced transformations that is not uh, available or that cannot be fulfilled by making use of the default options provided within the Power Query Editor ribbon. Okay, so now, so now that we understood the requirement of this scenario, right, let's go into that particular problem to help us resolve this. But before uh, going into it, let's perform uh, some sort of a cleanup on the data set because as you see here, the headers are not uh, properly aligned, like it's not been properly recognized. And there are some unwanted rows of data, which is not relevant for my requirement 
or that is not needed for our data set. So let's try to perform a little bit of cleanup and then we'll go to the actual scenario on how we can customize the mQuery language. So here I wanted to remove the first four rows of my records. So how do I do that? So I'll make use of the default option through the Power Query editor. I'll go to this uh, remove rows uh, option and select remove top rows. Now within this window, I would specify the number of rows as four. Okay, so why four? Because from one to four, these four rows of data is unrequired for my data set. So I just given that number of rows as four and then I'll hit on OK. And as you see this, the moment I hit on OK on those uh, removal of the first four rows, the applied steps has been capturing every step that we are performing on this particular data set. OK, and this is also important to notice. So I will uh, quickly align that when we actually implement the required uh, scenario. OK, so uh, now that we remove the unwanted rows, but we still have another issue here because the headers are not properly recognized. So this is my uh, header that has to be actually being aligned. So how do we convert the first row to be as a header? So we know that uh, we have this option called use first row as headers. So I will just click on this particular option, which is under my home ribbon and within my text or the transform options. So I'll just hit on this use first row as headers and that had considered my first row to be the column headers. And that particular transformation has also been recorded within my applied steps. So these are all the sequential steps that have been applied on the given data set. Okay, so now that we have cleaned up the data set as per our requirement, now let's focus on the actual scenario that we are looking into this particular video. So the requirement is that we would like to remove the custom number of rows from the entire table. Okay, so this is our table, right? Remember, so the table name is orders table. Now let's come to understand where can I find this M, M query or the M language to optimize or customize this particular requirement. So we have this advanced editor here. So we just need to click on this advanced editor and that would open up this M language window or the advanced editor window where the M language can be uh, programmatically written to allow our uh, advanced transformations that is needed on that particular table or the data set. Now, this is one way of uh, opening this particular uh, query editor. The other way is that you can just right click on your particular table on the queries panel. And there, if you go, you have this option called advanced editor on the bottom. Okay, so now just right click on that or select that particular option and that would also allow you to go back to this same window. All right. So now that we are able to look at this particular uh, M language uh, query code. Now our requirement is that we would like to remove a certain number of rows from the table. Now let's try to understand which rows do we like to remove that. Okay. So I would like to remove the rows from four, uh, 4 to 12, OK? Or probably I'd like to remove this particular customer completely. So which is my uh, Brosina Hoffman. So completely, so from 6 till 12, OK? So now let's try to implement it, 6 to 12, right? Now I'll just keep it like this so that we can also see the customer names uh, next to this particular window. Now, as we've already uh, looked at the syntax or the structure of this particular programming language, the structure would always begin with let. And within this let uh, condition, we have the set of variables and the uh, transformations that needs to be assigned to that particular variable. Now, as we have noticed within the Power Query Editor, whatever transformation that we apply, on the UI or within the Power Query Editor, every step is sequentially captured within my Applied Steps section. And similarly, all these steps are also been captured or transformed into an M language behind the scenes. So therefore, all these set steps that we see within this Applied Steps are also resembled here in the code. 
so if you notice this code i have not written anything as of now so this has been by default captured by power query editor itself so power query had been writing some code on behalf of us behind the scenes in order to help us see that uh, applied transformation on the given data set okay so how are you able to transform all the data set like for example earlier we tried to uh, make the first row as a headers right now at the moment you just select this particular option how is it able to translate or convert that transformation within the table? Because behind it is writing an M language to help us achieve the requirement. And this is the reason why we are able to see the required transformations in a simpler way. Okay, so that is about the theoretical uh, explanation of what it is happening. So let's try to apply this required logic over here. Okay. So this first section that you see on the left hand side, right, that is which uh, before the assignment uh, operator. So this is the name of the step or uh, how we would like to call it for that particular transformation. Okay, so now what we'll try to do is I'll just go to the end of this particular line. Keep a comma because we are introducing an additional line to our code. And this additional line, what we are trying to achieve, we would like to remove the rows from 6 to 12. Okay. So for that, I would write, yeah. So I would write the code as, so the uh, variable would begin with hash within the double quotes. So I would call this uh, transformation step as remove custom rows okay and then followed by the assignment operator and where are we trying to apply this uh, rows like uh, trying to remove these rows from from the table and that's why i have mentioned from the table and from this particular table what are we trying to apply or which sort of a transformation do we need to apply your remove rows okay remember remove rows so that is our function to be applied here so we have a function called remove rows so you see so a power query editor or this particular advanced editor does have this uh, um, uh, intelligence to allow us to see the different functions that are available within that particular or with that particular keywords okay so I'll just select this particular function now within the parenthesis, the syntax to this particular uh, remove rows on that particular table is the first argument should always be the previous step. So where are we trying to apply this particular uh, step or this particular transformation on my previous step on my previous resultant data set, we would like to apply this particular condition or this particular transformation so what is my previous step here so if you go back to this applied steps the previous step or the last step that we had performed earlier is my change type one step so therefore we would need to apply this transformation on this particular step called change type one so i'm just copying that name and placing that within my parenthesis followed by comma and we would need to specify what is that offset from where the rows have to be removed so the offset is six comma okay let me see okay six comma twelve so let me apply that and then followed by so what are we trying to return here so now we are not focusing on the previous step to be returned the uh, returned on my table right so we are trying to look at the resultant of my removed rows data set so therefore i have to return this particular last step as my output so i just copied my uh, last step name which is remove custom rows and then i'll hit on done so as you see there are no syntax errors that have been detected
so the, so far the code is looking good so we'll just apply this condition so i'll hit on done okay so now you see that customer name has been removed but i think the sixth row is still there so let me go back to the previous step so i'll select the change type one so i so we've selected six to twelve but six is the offset so six is the offset means so after that particular row we are saying that the data or that particular rows have to be deleted until that particular uh, value that we specify so if we have to include this uh, row as well in uh, in our concentration then i have to specify the offset as five so that the offset is always inclusive okay so we uh, the offset means that um, after that particular row we would like to remove the next rows until the other number that we specify in there so let's try to uh, customize or uh, update this particular value so i'll go back to the advanced editor and instead of six i'll just make it as five and done see now the customer has been removed like previously we had uh, from six to twelve rosina hoffman and then we had andrew allen right so let's go to this resultant so we have andrew allen um give me a minute okay uh let me check that five and from brosina okay yeah okay so let me explain this again so you see what mixed or uh, what mistakes i'm trying to do here so that you are able to understand what exactly is trying to consider within the syntax so let me recap so earlier i made a mistake to help you understand what does an offset meant to be now the followed by a value that i've mentioned right like how many rows it has to delete so this is actually counting after that offset how many rows should be deleted so in this example since i mentioned it as 12 the offset value is 5 right so after that particular customer like after 5 it is counting for the 12 rows like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and after the 12th row the record has been shown up so until that particular 12 rows the data has or the rows have been removed so let's say that if i just wanted to remove like six rows now let's see see the data has been updated back so let me go back to the previous step okay so we just wanted to remove this particular uh, customer right so let's try to count how many uh, rows of uh, data is there with this particular customer name so it is one two three four five six and seven okay so i'll come back to this uh, transformation and say seven now it is correct so if i go back to the previous step so it should be after shan the customer name should be andrew allen so i'll come back here so after shan the customer name is andrew allen so this is how we can make some advanced transformations using the m language within the advanced editor of power query editor okay so i hope this video was helpful to you to understand how important it is to make use of the same language in a real time scenario all right so that is about this particular video so if you do like this video please do like share and subscribe and talk to you again with a, another example in the next video thank you